Hi and hello, let's play fans at show pal Berg787 back with our brand new episode of Blood Bowl 2, the Berg Subs All Stars. One win away from ten. Let's see if we can get there today. We shall try. See whom we get. Anyone will do. Uh, Skaven team, eh? Okay. Rat a tui. How original. Okay. So they've got I didn't see what they actually took there. Uh, we've got a bit of petty cash to play with. Let's buy some Bloodweiser babes. We'll buy two lots. Because what else am I doing with that cash? We're all right, turn it team wise. All right. Let's see what type of configuration his rat team has. Usually they all seem to come with a rat ogre, so I'm kind of expecting that. But we'll see. Hello. Load up. Come on. Oh, damn you and your super long loading time. There we go. So, yeah, there is a rat ogre. Can't quite tell. Let's take a quick screen grab of that. There we go, just for admin later on. Let's send them a message, shall we? Have fun and good luck. Alright. Um, oh, we'll go on offense first. Alright, let's go and have a look at his rat ogre. Nothing. Fresh rat ogre, it seems. That's nice. Uh, so has he got kick? Mighty blowing and storm vermin. Seems to have a ton of skills. I'm surprised his team's this valuable. Tackle block. The hell's he got? Diving tackle? What is this? Sure feet. All right. Okay. Uh, strong arm. Big hand. Bludge. Okay. What does his other one got? Alright, so not a ton of skills. Does have two subs, I suppose. That's probably what's bumping up his team value a little bit. What have we got on the bench? Babu. I suppose Babu will stay there. Now, we don't have any tackle, so... It could be a little bit of a problem when it comes to dealing with his gutter runners. At the moment, he's only got two on the field, though. Is that going to change? Maybe not. Okay. Wouldn't mind hitting that guy. There we go. Bring that guy forward. <clears throat> okay. Alright, sweet. I suppose... You out here. We will go for a little run downfield if we can, just to you know get him to look down that way. We probably won't actually do anything with it. Um, I'll keep you free. Let me come over this side. Actually, you know what? Put you back just in case he does get a blitz. Swap you two round. Yep. And then you drop back. I don't want him steaming over here and happening to blitz someone into the crowd. That could be a little bit problematic. He does have kick, doesn't he? So I'll drop back a little bit further. You know what, actually? Let's put you in the middle. I'll put you guys out here because that way, wherever he tries to kick it, we should be able to get to with him and then we'll adjust accordingly. All right, let's go. I'm sure he did have kick. I'm pretty sure I saw him with someone with kick skill. Right, where's that ball going? Alright, it's not horrifically bad. You can't quite get to the ball, so... <clears throat> if 
we went two, three, four, five, six. Could do that. All right, let's throw some blocks first. We'll start with you. Push back. A little bit lame, but all right. Stay. All right, you. Come on, popcorn. Oh, wow. All right, what a start. <laughs> At least we managed to knock him down. You, please don't give me double skull again. Fucking hell. An awesome dice roll so far. At least we managed to KO someone. Come on. Come on. What are you taking your time for, buddy? Alright. Let us go blitz you and get you further downfield. That's more like it. We'll follow it up. And we'll run you over here. Might draw the attention of his rat ogre, which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Don't really want to stand you there, that could be a bit problematic. We'll put you over here. Alright. Not an awful lot left to do, so let's just go and see if we can pick up the ball. Good job, Jonesy. We'll run you up sort of middle way. Okay. You guys come that side, form the basis of what will be our cage. You lads. I don't necessarily need a, a, a heavy cage. We can stretch it out a little bit. I'll give him a bit of room. We'll see what he does with it. And you, I left this for last because we don't have a reroll. So, in case this was to fail, I wanted to do all my other actions first. And it does fail. Alright, never mind. Not great rolling to start with, it must be said, on these blocks. Good thing I did lead that till last, though. Otherwise, it could have been a lot more problematic. <laughs> we're alright. It's annoying that he's on the floor, but it's not the end of the world. That's it. Commit all your resources to taking on Pablo. I like it. Interesting to see. Hopefully he takes him down that way as well. But I reckon he'll probably come at one of our Chaos Warriors. He's certainly putting a lot of guys on there, which is brilliant for us because it gives us more free movement upfield. Okay. You can do that if you want. I don't mind. We do have Blodge. Which could be beneficial for us. I thought that guy's name was Minge there for a second. I was like, alright. Are you going to block him with him instead? Because this guy's got Tackle. Yeah, alright. Makes a little bit more sense. That didn't knock him down. Cool stuff. Wild animal, maybe? Yeah, there we go. That's the problem if you don't blitz with these guys, though, like him or the Minotaur. They can end up getting a little bit stuck. Alright. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, you are going to go and have to hang out with, with the big rat man himself. I don't want him doing any other kind of shenanigans. You. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll move you into 
here, this is a fairly safe spot. I'll bring you up over here. Hmm. As for you, I'll move you around here. You, you want to come over? Mm, yeah. Can you get to there? I'll live with that. Hello, I'm beast. Can you head off that way? So we're quite spread out, but that's fine. You can stand up as well. Or maybe I should have blitzed with you. Actually, don't worry about it. Alright, you for our block. That's better. Uh, we'll knock you there. Stay where you're at. Come on, mighty blow. Mighty punt to the head. Okay. Now, he does have blodge that guy. I could one dice blitz him, but not really a big fan of that idea. Let's blitz you. Do a mighty blow guy. All right, push back. We'll live with it. Stay where you're at. And you, Pablo. See if you can dodge out. If you can, great. If not, don't worry about it. No? Alright. We'll leave him there. That's fine. A bit nicer if he'd stayed on his feet, but whatever. Let's see what he does. He didn't buy any like bribes, no. Okay, so if he goes to foul, it's from his own. It's, own, it's a risk on his side. Quite like the way things are spread out at the moment, though. He's certainly taking a lot of um, his resources on dealing with my guys who are really there just as distractions more than anything else. Down you go, Hellambis. That's actually quite good the way you went down. Because I wouldn't really want you over here. Because I reckon he probably would have followed it up and annoyed me. Cool. We've got plenty of space to move into over here, so that's probably what we'll do. Nice, well done, Roots. You didn't follow up, interesting. Okay. Good, I'm glad you went down the first time if you were going to go down, because you could have caused me a few problems. But Well, there you go, you're knocked out, but you could have caused me a few problems by coming in, which I didn't really want to have to deal with. If he like followed it up again, then these guys would all be a little bit tied up by him. But as it stands, I can live with that. All right, you stand up. You stand up. You. Do you have block? You do. All right, you know what? Do it yourself. That'll do. Good thing I actually used you. There. You head up over here. You know what? In fact, you can move up one as well. Hmm, you can't quite get to where I wanted to put you, so we'll have to use you instead, Popcorn. I don't want to risk having to use a reroll, basically, is why I didn't do that. Put you there as well. I don't really want him assaulting the cage with a blitz from his rat ogre. Run you that way. Oh, no, I don't want to pass, that's for sure. Might still be able to actually do it if he comes around that way, but at least then he's behind us. Good stuff. Hmm. 
Do I want to follow it up? Yeah, let's follow it up. Okay, who is this guy? That is Mighty Blowman again. We risk a one dice block. I suppose, why not? Do I re roll it? Nah, I think I'm alright. Okay. It would have been nice if we pushed him off, but whatever. I don't want to burn another reroll this early. Now, since he does seem to take the bait with these guys downfield, it would be nice to get someone else again downfield. And that'll give us more space in the cage area. I quite like that he's moved there, which means he's not going to blitz the black, the bat guy, which I was a little bit worried he might do with his rad ogre. Well, yeah, he could have done that, but he can't now not without, well, not without dodging through tackle zones, which I don't think he's going to try and do. Presuming he'll blitz him. Yep. Okay. Come on, big man! Come on, King Kennedy! Survive! That's pretty good. It's got to be there. Right? I'm surprised he didn't push him into there. Alright, down you go. Try not to die though, buddy. That would be annoying. Alright. Good times. I like all this tagging up. Not gonna lie. Makes me feel good. Down you go, Pablo, but never mind. It's only a momentary down, I think. Or maybe not. <laughs> Alright. Sleep all you want. You gonna stay there? There you are, okay. I'll leave that for the time being. Hmm. It's going to be easy to get rid of you. I'll try it. Nice. You can actually follow up as well. I don't want you just hanging out with him. Okay. Means if we reposition there. You go up to here. It's a bit of a loose cage. It's going to be the best to go there. Better to go there, I think. Either way, he might get hit. I can't put him there because then he can easily be blitzed. You can't really move any further, so. I think if I put you there, you could be fine either way. Okay. Now. I think I might need to blitz with you. You're going to have to stand up. So I'm going to have to blitz you. Actually, hold on. Let's throw this block first. Uh, Alright, never mind. Whatever, we'll just push you off. Stay. Alright. Blitz. Knock him down, please. Push back, it's a bit annoying. Either way, I have to dodge now. Um, Alright, well, it was worth the try. There was nothing else I actually wanted to blitz with, so. I see you do have guard. Alright, we'll leave things as they are. A little bit loose. We do actually have a man disadvantage at the moment, I think, don't we? Yeah, because we've had two knocked out. Not quite in scoring range yet. We're 
probably going to have to score earlier than what I would like. But, hey ho. It is what it is. Come on. Down you go, Hell Iron Beast. But good job, though, in not letting him just easily follow up onto you. Now he's kind of stuck there with that guy. Down you go. But at least that frees you up a bit. Nope. Well, he, hasn't, he hasn't had to use a reroll, I don't think, yet. Or maybe he has. No, he had three to start with, I think. Alright, that's kind of sweet. Alright, you. Come here and blitz in. That's nice. We'll follow it up. Wait on the stun as well. Pushback's a little bit annoying, but but we'll take it. Right, you stand up. Move there. Stand up there. I'm going to have to actually probably drop you back one, but hold on, let's throw this block first. Nice. Actually, follow it up. Because we're alright, we've got the. Oh, there is a gap there actually, which I've just realised. Ooh, that was a bit of a boo boo. I thought for some reason I had the, the screen properly done, but it's alright. This guy can't blitz, which is the most important thing. We'll leave everything as it is. Come on, hit this guy. There we go. And bust his armor as well. Uh, at least stun him, maybe? No. Don't like that all the walls of the cage are slightly being touched, but. Well, slightly, quite a lot, but it is what it is. Go for a one dicer, that'll do. One dice when they don't have a block is always fairly risky. I mean, it's it's kind of like, you know, dodging with an elf. Anything but a one. Kind of the same thought behind it. People don't seem to think dodging with an elf is that risky. So throwing a one dice block when you've got block and the opponent doesn't, it's the same thing, really. I felt kind of all right about doing this, though, because I do have some strength four guys up here. If it was just beastmen who were the cage, that would have been a bit more problematic. So he's going to rush him in here, tie me up. That's fine. Well, it's not fine, but it's kind of expected. Shouldn't be that problematic to get rid of him. We'll see. It's all alright. It's certainly all alright. Do a one dice block on him. That's another reroll. Well, a reroll. I don't think he's used one yet. Right, down you go. Yeah, that's fine as long as you didn't get hurt or anything like that. Is he going to stand him up and try and run him away? I think he's... Well, if he doesn't... There's a few things I can do here to engineer my situation better. 
I'll stand you up. So you block him. Mm, it would have been nice if you'd knocked him down. Half tempted to re-roll that. There we go. Push you there. Give me an extra assist. We'll follow that up. Because now I've got these two assists. If I blitz with him, I can clear him out. Well, I need to knock him down, which is the only sort of caveat I would strike there, but we'll check it out in a second. Ah, disasters. Oh, well. <clears throat> well, I suppose I could have done that with him as well and rolled a double skull, so whatever. It is what it is. Yeah. Well, I, the, the reroll was still beneficial because it knocked him down. It gave me the extra assist that I needed over here. And I could have probably stood him up, but I would have had to have gone for it anyway and then blitz. So, you know, maybe I could have done it a bit differently, but I don't necessarily regret the way I did it. It's just unfortunate. Double skull happened. That's pretty sweet, though. And he failed it with his reroll, so he burnt a reroll there. That's quite nice. Turnover. Where's the ball going? Not the greatest spot, but but all right. Mm. Blitz onto the ball. Follow up. See where it scatters. Maybe try and run out. It's a fairly risky move to try, but we'll give it a go. Hmm. Stand you up first. All right, let's try this. to the ball. Hopefully it scatters away. We'll follow it up. Maybe we'll dodge out. Okay. That didn't scatter to too bad a spot. We'll dodge out and pick up the ball. What a legend. Away you go. <laughs> He's such a beast, man. Lord Doom is, is the man. Good game, Lucker. Okay. Apparently I'm very lucky. Hmm. Suppose we'll take the two dice here. We haven't knocked you down, but but alright. Do I follow it up? I guess stay where I am. You don't have block. Hitting someone who does have block. I have a reroll. Alright, let's try some other stuff. Awesome. Stay where you're at. Hmm. A little bit of a risk, but I have a reroll, so we'll try it if we need it. That's fine. We'll follow that up. Hmm. Oh, good that he got stunned as well. I suppose we'll go for this one dicer over here as well. Sweet. Let's stay where you're at. Alright, 
we have anything else to do? No. All right, well, we'll see if he can stay on his feet. He's got his tackle guy. Oh, did we just knock his tackle guy down? Yeah. Okay, so that's kind of handy. He got stunned, so... <clears throat> he isn't going to be able to use him to knock us down. He can still get assists over there. He obviously needs to make some dodges. That's the first one. That's the second one. I'm the lucker, though, apparently. If he blitzes with him though, that's only a one dicer. Yeah. It's only one dice. I mean, might knock me down, but we'll see. Might actually work out pretty good for us though. If he doesn't knock us down. I wish I had someone else in scoring range, but I don't. He's the only person, and he's been after. If he gets knocked down, he'll probably get pushed back. I'll be out scoring range full stop. Is that true completely? Yeah, I think it is. Please don't give a pow. Did he not do, Did he not go for it? Did he not try and blitz? Interesting. Jonesy's KO'd, but... Thankfully, these have all been KOs, though. We do have two Bloodweiser babes, so you'd think that we've got a decent chance of getting those guys back. All right. And if you go there... I still have the one assist. What's this guy got? He's got block. Got bludge. It'd still be one dice. I don't think I can... Can you get over there? Not without going for it. Alright. I'm going for it twice, which I don't really like the idea of. Okay, we'll move you over here. Does he still have that one assist? But you're cancelled out, so if we go here, that's my assist on him. And what we do is we blitz him. That should be two dice. Follow up. Hopefully we've knocked him down. And then dodge out. Anything else I want to do? Well, let's move some players first as well. Actually, I probably should have moved you there to get a two dice block on him. Probably would have been the smarter move. But never mind. All right. Here we go. Please knock him down. Gotta re-roll it. Pushback doesn't help us massively, it must be said. Probably should have still gone this way. But even though it's kind of the same problem. Alright, well we've got to dodge out. Hopefully we make it. We do have dodge skill. Yes! Well done. Wait till we see the message from him now. Your opponent is disconnected. I don't think we were particularly lucky. Yeah, we had some good dice rolls go for us, but we also had some bad ones. Not like we didn't roll a double skull. Good job there, whoever that is. Not waking up. Interesting the way it's disconnected, though. It's like he's pulled the plug. Can I actually even set up? So we'll leave it all until we realise what's going on. As a, yeah, we did have a little bit. So to be fair, the only bit that I thought was super lucky was the first dodge, the 50-50 dodge with dodge skill. But the one where we pushed him onto the ball, followed up and then dodged out, I thought that was a good move. I thought it was a worthy risk. Yeah, you can fail it, but with dodge skill it's not that unrealistic. But it does fail, but it works more often than what it fails. So I don't know what he was particularly crying about. I guess this guy's probably one of those people who any kind of dice roll that goes in your favour that's not super standard or that goes against him that's not super, that's, that is super standard is kind of like, oh, super bad luck. Whatever. I'll take it. If he wants to disconnect on me. 
Seems like he just pulled his internet out of the wall. Like, ah, modem, gone. Rage. But um, well, that's what it seems like. If it's a disconnect like this, he just unplugged his modem. It's very suspicious that it was right after I scored that that happened. But whatever. If he is going to quit on us, at least we did get a score, which is quite nice. It gives us some points there for Lord Doom. Lord Doom's awesome. Really sort of seeing the value of Blodge on a Chaos Warrior. It's excellent. If only he got like... I'm trying to think what would be the next best thing for him to get. I mean, you know, strength's always good, but I almost feel like... Plus one to movement. You know, movement six. Would that really make him much better though? I mean, it would make him better. That one movement so many times. You don't think it's that big a deal, but so many times it's like, oh, you know what? It's good, but... I kind of don't like giving plus to movement on people who are slower than movement six. Five is kind of a grey area. On orc throwers, I tend to, I would like to give it to them because on orc throwers, you, on the way, at least the way I play orcs, they tend to pick up, I use them quite a bit. So for them to be able to keep pace with blitzers and stuff like that is kind of handy. With a chaos warrior though, I don't know. Movement would be worth it or not. Probably I'd take it, but I wouldn't feel great about it until... The, the moment where the fact that he has the extra movement comes in handy and then I'd be like, yeah, I'm so happy I took movement, uh, extra movement. All right, but there we go. Concede. We win. Ratatouille. It's a shame, but you got a good half in at least. Pretty much a whole half. You had one turn left. And there we are, up to 10 wins. Woo! 10 wins in 12 games. I think that's the best I've done so far in any of these series to get to 10. Superb. Oh, Jonesy got MVP as well. Just one short. And Popcorn as well. There's only two short. But all right. So no one actually got a skill up there, did they? No. But we did get to 10 wins. So super duper. All right. So the Chaos Sub... The Berg Subs All-Star team is going to go on a little bit of a hiatus now that we've got up to 10 wins. I'm probably going to start a Skaven team. So that's going to be the plan. Whether that starts tomorrow... I'm not quite sure, but in the next couple of days, we'll still have the, the Beardy Berg Bunch on their epically long journey to try and get to 10 wins. But um, So that'll, be, that'll still be going. There'll be a few other bits and bobs as well on the channel, so stay tuned and um, keep commenting. You know how much I love your comments, how much I love your support, and I'll always reply back to comments. Even if I don't reply back instantly, you will get a reply back uh, within sort of 24 hours at the worst. But anyway, until then, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.